we're going to quickly look at how to activate multiple currencies in Salesforce. Um, so this feature is useful and, and pretty commonly used if you do business in multiple countries, uh, if you're creating, you know, if you have sales teams to different countries, um, different things like that. So if I come over here to refine and I just say company information, I can scroll down here and see that I'm going to have a section called currency settings. Uh, and typically there's two fields here. Um, I've, you can see I've already activated this, so I just checked it off. Um, but the, the other field that has disappeared is a locale currency, and that is your corporate currency. So by default, if you're in the United States and you're listening to this, your currency is just going to be US, uh, US dollar. Uh, and if you click this button to activate it, um, then you'll officially have activated multiple currencies in Salesforce. Now there is, uh, there are a lot of considerations to turning on current multiple currencies, even though it's a commonly used feature, uh, it does change quite a bit of things and make some permanent changes to your org. Um, Salesforce, make sure, uh, to warn you about that in the UI before you activate. Um, so I'd read through those considerations. I'll link them in the, uh, help, uh, or description of the video as well. So if I come over here to cancel, you can see because I've already activated multiple currencies, now I have a currency setup button. And here there are a couple key features that you can turn on and implement. Um, and they uh, describe them here. So one is advanced currency management. Um, and that essentially allows you to map conversion, uh, conversion rates to dates. Um, so it's just kind of giving you a, a realistic uh, conversion rate uh, built into the system. And then there's also a parenthetical currency conversion, which has to do with kind of converting currencies within the UI. Uh, if you want to add more currencies, you can come down here to active currencies, hit this new button and start setting up the additional currencies that you need. Uh, and you can see right here, the US dollar is my only currency um, created and it is the corporate currency. Uh, so I recommend kind of, uh, again, looking into all the considerations, um, before setting this up. Um, but as far as finding it in Salesforce and turning it on, uh, I hope this video helps.